let this let this thing here <laughs> Panasonic video camera I better be careful with this hadn't I yep. <laughs> if I drop it this will not be on YouTube <laughs> I don't know I, anyway um, let this hand represent us now there's no hand there you realize that but let my, let my arm hello <laughs> All these, all these years, I've never done that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let this represent us, okay? And let this remote, for whatever it's for, um, let that represent sin, okay? Are you a sinner? I'm a sinner. Uh, in... 45 years of ministry, I've had one person tell me she was not a sinner. One person. There was also another guy who said he got sanctified, but he was a thief. So <laughs> I'm not sure how that works, you know. Um, anyway, God loves us, He hates our sin. Because of our sin, we deserve. Separation from God forever in hell. The Bible describes it as the lake of fire. It's a horrible, horrible thought. God doesn't want that to happen to anyone. He created it, the Bible says, Christ said, for the devil and his angels. Okay? He didn't make it for man. But that's where men are going to go because of their sin. Christ told the Pharisees, if you die with your sin on you, you'll be separated from God forever. Hell is the destination of anyone whose sin isn't paid for. God loves us. He hates the sin. Let this hand represent Jesus Christ. Since there's only one thing that can pay for sin, and that's death. Church membership doesn't take away your sin. Putting offering in the plate doesn't take away your sin. You know, taking a pie to somebody that moves in next door doesn't take away your sin. None of these good deeds can possibly take away sin. So God sent His Son, the everlasting Son, the one who came, according to Micah, from everlasting. He came to the earth, He hung on the cross, and at that point, God put the sin of the world Upon his son, Jesus bore our sin. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says that God made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Okay, now look at this. This is something that very few preachers can do. Jesus died, took away our sin. He was buried. He was raised again the third day. And now... He says that we will be made the righteousness of God in Him. Okay? God looks at me and sees the righteousness of His own Son. Okay? The righteousness of Jesus because I am in Jesus. Philippians chapter 3 talks about being found in Him. Not having my own righteousness which is of the law but the righteousness of God by faith okay what do you and I have to do we have to believe that the Son of God came and died and paid for our sin and now all we gotta do is trust him just trust him he says I'll save you I'll give you eternal life I'll give you a home in heaven you will live with me forever if you'll simply believe it. Okay? That's all you have to do. Believe it. And if you do, you'll be with Him for all eternity. And uh, if you want to know what that's all about, read the end of Revelation. I'll tell you, the end of the book is fantastic. Okay? If you haven't trusted Christ, and it could be that everyone here has, I don't know, but if you haven't, you ought to do that right now okay I, ha I have known people the, the church that I pastored and I didn't see this because this was before my time 
But a guy got up and he played a violin solo, okay? He went and sat down in his pew and dropped dead, just like that, okay? You might not make it to your car. Probably you will. Probably every one of you could come back tonight to hear the rest of the message I already started. <laughs> but nobody knows when they're going to die. Okay? Trust Christ now if you have.